the wrong side. <laughs> I'll do it again. Yeah, do it again. It's the most convoluted. I absolutely love coming to work with you, Brendan. <laughs> Today, we officially make a start on the build. We have ripped everything out. Everything that could be ripped out has been ripped out. And we've got this van prepped to do the insulation. I cannot wait to make an official start on putting things in this van on the building process. Last couple of weeks have been consumed by taking the walls out. I've treated these side panels here that were showing a little bit of rust where some water was sitting from a couple of holes that are present in the roof, missing a couple of those rubber bungs. Since replaced them, put a bit of hammerite paint around them. Done the same on that side, and now we're officially ready to start putting things in this van to make it a camper van. And the first thing we need to do is insulate. Now, I've got a couple of microfiber cloths I brought with me because there's still a little bit of residue, not much of it, but a little bit of residue left behind from when the old insulation was in there, um, where they've just used some what looks like spray adhesive, stuck the insulation on and then put the panels on. But we're using the best stuff today. We're using dodo mats. So we're gonna be using some sound deadening. Then we're gonna be adding an adhesive thermal layer on top of the sound deadening. And then we've got the white fluffy stuff to make it nice and cozy. But yeah, this is uh, officially, I suppose, the start of the build. We had the rip out process and now we've got the start of the build. So just in the corner over here, we've got all the dodo mat kit. First and foremost today, we're gonna to be putting on the sound deadening sheets. They are heavy, but it's gonna transform the sound of this van. Just something for you to uh, earmark and listen to pre-sound deadening. Sound like the start of the Terminator film. Anyone recognize that reference? <laughs> and on the back. It's all very tinny right now. Oh, here he is. Late again, late again. <laughs> Thankfully none of the hard work's done yet. You can help with that. Morning, you're right? Yep. We're gonna put a different fan here. Okay. Not today, but at some point. Today we work on the sides, cool. and then in another day, in another outfit, maybe another haircut, you'll see us doing whatever on the roof, getting a max fan installed, cutting a slightly bigger hole maybe. Um, and that'll just future-proof us then for anything that we need in the future. An extractor, sunlight, fan to blow inside the van when it's hot in the summer. I think that's the way to go. Right. Let's get this cut open. Let's wipe down these side panels and get some sound insulation on. Fans now prepped. We've done a little bit of brushing, a little bit of wiping. Got our morning workout out of the way. And this is the back. the sound deadening pads. That's what's going to be going on the van. Peel it off, stick it on, jobs are good and just got to do a few of them. Well we've got the weather on our side now. The sun's come out beating down, with a radio 2 on. My dad's been swearing a little bit. It's all good. It's all good. How are you getting on? <laughs> well, we've got one more wheel arch to do on this side. And then that is a sound deadening done for the side panels of the van. As you can see, we haven't covered the whole of the panel here because that's not essential for the sound deadening. When we use the foam backed black sticky stuff that I'll show you in a minute, that's where we need to start being a bit more accurate with our cuttings and measurements to be able to fill these voids in. Um, Keep them as they are. They're the fixing points for the cupboards. But yeah, it's looking a lot better now. And the rattle that was in these panels is now gone. That goes on, no it doesn't, it goes on the other way. That goes. No it doesn't, no it doesn't. <laughs> I've the wrong side. <laughs> I'll do it again. Yeah, do it again. It's find a place to stick that one. I'll stick that there. <laughs> we'll pretend that never happened, okay? Didn't happen. <laughs> this is my 
my gift to you. Palm granite piranha, what's that? So this conveniently brings us on to today's video sponsor, Holy. Now one of the things that helped me out when I had the traffic was not having to take a load of cans away with me. That's where this can help you. So that's yours. What is it? Basically, the drinks inside here, you get 14 drinks in there. Oh, you stick them in there. Stick, stick that in there. That's 14 oh. drinks. Now the space that 14 cans would take up. Oh, that's good. Yeah, you put it in there, mix it with water, 500 ml shaker, give it a good shake, and you've got a really nice drink now. Okay, thank yeah? you, thank you. So thank you very obviously, much. whenever you're in your camper vans, you've always got water with you, but the one thing we do find a little bit difficult is space, space is a premium. Now, when I had this, I didn't have to take a multitude of cans away with me, fill up my fridge, that's important space that you don't really want to be taking up with drinks, that's space for your food. So that should hopefully help you out. I particularly enjoy the apple okay. iced tea, but I've kept them for myself. Okay, thank you. <laughs> you're welcome. Red grape tea. Now, when Holy first contacted me, I'm not gonna lie, I was a little bit skeptical about the thought of powdered drinks. Never really had powdered drinks before, if I'm completely honest, and I wanted to give them a try first. But after trying them, they come in a variety of flavors with different use cases. This one's the tea version. You've also got your energy drinks down here as well, which do not contain nowhere near the amount of sugar and additives that other energy drinks do. So not only do they taste great, but they're also a lot healthier for you as well. I'll leave a link in the description to Holy below. Go check them out, get your hands on the starter kit, see if you like them, give them a taste, and revolutionise your camping drinking habits today. Big thanks to Holy for sponsoring today's video. Now back to the build. Righty, second stage of the sound deadening insulation. We're going to be using this, the Dodo Thermo Liner Automotive Thermo Acoustic Insulation Foam Sticky Back Stuff. My dad's just finished off the back doors now with the old sound deadening. Sounding a hell of a lot different just um, by... Huh? Pardon? <laughs> this is the stuff we're going to be putting on and cutting a little bit more accurately to shape on the side there. So you can see you've got some reflective foil there to try and radiate some heat back into the vehicle. And then you've got a sticky back, which is somewhere there, I think. Does that stick off? Yeah. Then you can stick it onto the places on the side of the van. Easy to cut? Yeah, very easy. Okay. And what's it called again? It's called <laughs> Dodo Mat Thermo Acoustic Liner. Okay. I think. It was extinct once then, was it? Was it what? Was it extinct once, was it? It might have been, yeah. Come here. Oh, that is sticky. Wow. That is really sticky. Yeah. So it's probably stickier than the sound dead. Whoa, hey! <laughs> you've got so. it's right, you've got all the bottom, I'll grab the top. Oh, that was going to stick on the sides here like some pretty. Oh! <laughs> Come on, we got it. Well, that'll do. That'll do, that'll do, okay. yeah. Okay. We got it, we got it. We're going to carry on with this and uh, get you. somewhat through the job. See you in two days. <laughs> yeah, this actually could quite literally be two days. <laughs> I might be wearing a different t-shirt when I bring you back. <laughs> I might have grown a beard too. Yeah. <laughs> Our first day off to B&Q. Same video, different outfit, different day. But since we started the insulation, a couple of things have changed in the planning. So I was going to do all the insulation first in one foul swoop, get the roof done, etc. But that isn't going to be possible just yet. I can't continue on with the insulation of the roof because I want to fit a Max Air Fan Deluxe just in the middle there where the extractor fan is that only extracts, doesn't blow in. So I need to have an upgrade on that. And I'm also going to be fitting some wheel arch boxes here with a bit of ply that runs across the side of this van once we finish that part of the insulation. Mainly because we're also going to be putting some solar on the roof at some point. Whether that happens in this video or a future video, I don't know yet. But while we've got access to the roof, before any roofing panels go back on, before any insulation goes on, let's start thinking about some wiring where the wires are going to go, how they're going to root, and then we'll try and get some electrical gubbins mounted on this side near the battery so we can actually attach stuff too. It's a, a very stark reminder of the steps that are required to do a van build. I put down in my notes, this is what I'm going to do first, insulation, then bed, then kitchen, etc. But there's always bumps in the road. There's always something to do before the next job. And the job that you're trying to do always takes 10 times longer than you thought it would. There he is. All right. Yep. How's it feel being back at B&Q? I've been here for a while, but hola. 
Come on, Stas. Everybody. For all the Spanish viewers watching. <laughs> come, on, let's, come on then, Del Boy. Let's. Uh, Wait, what you get well, in? first off, what we need to do is whether we actually get to fit in this piece of ply today is another question, but we just need to measure here. From here to the top here, because this is we all ply up here, we're going to try and cover most of these holes, mainly because if I add carpet to those holes over time, as happened in the traffic a little bit, those little holes can cause little dimples in the carpet that are very visible. So if we can ply all the way from there, all the way down to the floor, we've already got templates, haven't we? With the plastic yeah. ones that are on there. The reason why we're not going to reuse those plastic templates is mainly because if you remember, in this video or a previous video, not sure, um, there was some steel plates along here that had some holes in to be able to attach some proper heavy duty ambulance seats. We haven't got them anymore, so we don't need those holes in the plastic. So we're gonna use them as templates and we're gonna ply the bottom and hopefully we can reuse the plastic uppers here that fit nicely into the window frames. We need to get that's some metal kind of self-tapping screws at some point. That's kind of, that's thick. That ain't thick, that ain't thick. You want it too thick. That is perfect, but that also isn't the length that we need. Those sheets over there are the ones that we need, but that would be the perfect yeah, thickness. Sure. Well, we were gonna get some two by two, but look at the price of this. Three pound 87 for 2.4 meters worth of this. I think it's a no brainer. I think the other stuff up there is like eight quid for a 2.4 meter length. How much you reckon? Two of them. Two of them. Make sure they're nice and straight. Yeah. Alrighty, we've got everything. All the wood, self-tapping screws. We've got a couple of paint brushes later on in the build as well. Let's get it paid for and back in the van. Right, Radio 2's blasting. We've got the wood in the container now. We're going to carry on doing some cutting putting the rest of the foam back stuff just in the back here, layer it on the sides. We've also got to do the side door and the back panels. Then once we've done that, we can start with the fluff and then start thinking about the ply that we brought. Anyway, before the copyright strike, let's crack on. The one thing we're gonna be doing first, actually, before we put our masks on is using this stuff. Very similar to tape and drape, which I tried to get my hands on, but unfortunately tool station was out of stock. So I've got this from Screwfix Fine Crep Masker. Wow, I said that right. Fine Crep Masker. It's going to cover the tinted windows. It'd be an absolute shame to ruin what has been such a great job on those windows by spraying glue everywhere. So we'll get them masked up, then we'll get masked up, and then we'll start spraying some glue and putting the fluffy insulation, which is in there somewhere in the container, We'll root it out, but let's get cracking. All masking, done. In 15 minutes. If that, yeah. So the windows are now protected, it's gonna save us a massive headache in the future if we do spray glue in a place that we shouldn't do, which is highly likely with us. So anyway, <laughs> let's uh, start doing some of this fluffy stuff. So this is the stuff that we've got, some trim fix, high heat resistant adhesive. That came in the box with some carpet and curtains and stuff that we're gonna be showing you in the next video, or could be the video after that maybe. Um, we're gonna use a little bit of this on that big roll of white fluffy insulation. And we're gonna get all the sides done today. So if we can get this side done, that side done, the back doors done, the top bits above the window done as well. And then if we can, if we have got enough time, we might box this wheel arch in and put a bit of ply along the side there that you saw us pick up from B&Q not so long ago, maybe in this video. Um, so we can get a little bit of a mountain area for some electrical gubbins. So yeah. Let's uh, get okay. cracking, let's get fluffing, let's get spraying, let's let, let's get masks, let's get masks. <laughs> okay. No, 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 no. Oh, oh! <laughs> we got uh, 63 centimeters by 73.
All right, that is one side of the van. Thermo fleece insulated, I think is the official name. I've got a, a mask imprint around my mouth, but gives you a dry mouth that. I feel like Jim Carrey off uh, me, myself and Irene. Drag me down for what? Agent Bullshane. Nice and fluffy, same stuff that was in the traffic. Let's crack on with the other side. The insulation, on the sides at least, and on the back doors, is officially done. And I've got someone very special come along to help me today. She thought she'd be at home on a day off with her feet up, watching 10 Things I Hate About You with some cheese puffs, relaxing for the day. But no, I had a better plan for her. She's coming to work with me. <laughs> I had to get her a coffee to cheer her up. Right, okay, so let me show you the back of this van. So this is all of the insulation done. We've still got a little bit left, enough for the roof at least. If we have some more left over, once we've done the roof and once things have been installed on the roof, we might start just packing extra bits in the side here. Back doors are done, sliding doors are done. The job for this morning, um, we do have a date, don't we, you're booked to go to uh, in Bridge North. We're gonna be going to Ye Old Punch Bowl, if anyone's ever been there for a carvery. We cannot wait, it's been a long time since we've been there. Henry started school, he's loved it, hasn't he? Yeah, absolutely. So um, today we're having a bit of a date day. And I thought, no better way of doing it than spending time working together on the van. Ready to work hard? This is my attempt at trying to make an improvised scribe. After watching a couple of YouTube videos, roughly around three and a half minutes, I now think I'm an expert. <laughs> this is a bit like, um, what's it, what do they say, Chinese whispers? Is that what it is? Where like, you learn information from one source, it goes down the line, and eventually yeah, it, the time it's, it's completely line, different. It's completely crap, yeah. yeah. So um, don't use this as a tutorial on how to make a scribe, because this is about 10 steps down the Chinese whispers line. So. After many, many attempts at trying to make a scribe, it's safe to say I completely failed. <laughs> this is the most convoluted. I absolutely love coming to work with you, Brendan. <laughs> <laughs> right, oh, no, we can't use the wheel arch. Ah, right, okay, okay. That's half hour wasted. That's all right, we're gonna eyeball it, all right. Oh my God, oh my God. You didn't even need to make that thing. Nope. Oh. Hey. I mean. Take it, yeah, I'll show the camera then. Hey, that ain't bad. That ain't bad at all. Look at that. Look at that. Oh, that's good. Yeah, I mean, it's not like, it's not perfect, but. That's good. That's all right, that. Right, while well, we've just got this in, before we go, all right, I just want to grab one of them side panels, just basically place it there and just see how far it comes down and how much we can screw into that wood. So just on, hold that a minute, I'll be real quick. Yeah, that's fine. Yeah, I'll tell you what, once they're cleaned up a little bit, we can drill them in there. We'll have the roof up here, the little attached to. Perfect. Fast forward to another day when my dad's gonna be in most probably, fitting some kind of box around this wheel arch. See you in a second. Have you farted? No, we haven't farted. Are you sure? <laughs> <laughs> right, do us a Right, put your knees against me. If I if I push too hard, I'm gonna fart again. All right, ready, ready, go on, push, push, go, push, go, push, go. big time. <laughs>
We're in, we're in. Three pound forty per two point four meter length CLS, I think it is. That's not bad, is it? Three pound forty for that. Need to build a fair bit of that. Now, I would be very surprised. In fact, I'd be extremely surprised if we didn't measure at least one piece of wood wrong. Yeah, without a tape measure, it's gonna be brilliant. Hmm. Oh, 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 yeah, yeah. Yeah, we don't just need to know how wide. Oh, okay, okay, okay. All right then, I think it's um, about apt that we sign out from here. You say goodbye. Goodbye, folks. <laughs> we'll see you again when we get a tape measure. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. So uh, thank you ever so much for joining me for this video. And just before I do leave you here, I'm gonna put in a little clip here of the sound of this side panel before we put any sound deadening, any foam, any insulation behind it. I'll put it in here. And this is what this panel sounds like now. I'll even bang it a bit harder. That sounds completely different in my opinion. I'll leave a link to all the insulation products I use in the description below. The sound deadening, the acoustic foam and also the white fluffy stuff that I don't exactly know the technical term to. I'll leave it in the description. I'll also leave a link to today's video sponsor Holy in the description below. Thank you for joining us. Sorry that we've had to end this video a little bit abruptly. Uh, we'll come back when we've got a tape measure. That's going to be a really important aspect of this build. Three days time? Yeah, about three days time, yeah. And then um, what's coming up in the next video? Well, we've got some swivel bases on the front seats to fit. And we're also going to be doing a full electrical install on this fan. We're going to be putting all the electrical gubbins on this piece of ply. The next time you see this fan, we may be making the box in the start of the video, because that could be quite funny because I'm assuming we're going to cut these wrong, even with a tape measure, three or four times the wrong way. Probably have to go back to B&Q and get some more pieces of wood. But uh, anyway, I'm waffling. You know the score. You've been here long enough. Um, I'll see you guys in the next video. Say goodbye. Bye. See you next time. I'll see you in the next one. <laughs>